Hey, what's up? I'm Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn. This is episode 214. Today, I'm talking about the real reason you don't prep like you know you should. And when I talk prep, I'm talking about auditions. The real reason you don't prep like you know you should. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? On Facebook, I'm syndicated on my Facebook page and my Hollywood Bound Actors group and in my Bookmore TV uh, private group. So as you come on in the room, say hi, say hello. Uh, but this is your first time watching. I wanna welcome you. Put one in the comments, this is your first time watching. I'm so happy that you're here. I wanna officially welcome you. If you've you know, been rocking with me for a minute, just go ahead and put OG in the comments because you know, we know how this goes down. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up replay watchers? Love you guys. Listen, shout out to all my Vancouver actors, Karen, Sasha, forgot the names. <laughs> Listen, I met so many amazing, beautiful actors. I got to post the, um, their pictures in our Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. Um, but I was in Vancouver for the past six days. I got back the other day, still kind of playing catch up. Hey, Scott Patterson, what's up? Right? So I'm still playing catch up. Um, but, um, it was so beautiful um, as you guys come in the room. It was so beautiful because I always talk about being Hollywood bound and our amazing Facebook community. If you're not a part of it, you should totally come join us. If you're an actor who wants to book film and TV, um, I have some fun stuff coming up for the next month for us. Um, but how, being Hollywood being a Hollywood bound actor is not about living in Hollywood. It, it is about having a Hollywood state of mind in understanding fully what this industry expects. So it doesn't matter if you live in Vancouver or, or London or Boston, Atlanta, New York, or LA, there is a standard. And even if a show is filmed in your town, like in Atlanta, they're still starting from Hollywood. And so if you don't understand how uh, the whole situation works, you know, it's just not going to, you're not going to get what you want to get as fast as you want to get there. So my goal in our community, we have a really supportive community, people like William Jefferson Jr., Merrily, Wendy, Karen, right? We have an amazing community of people who support each other. Um, but I want to get into it. Hi, Clifton. Um, I want to get into today's uh, episode. Again, this is episode 214. If you are an actor and you're like, what is this goodness I'm getting? And I never heard of this chick before. Come to my YouTube channel, Christine Horn, and there's hundreds, literally hundreds of episodes for actors who desire to work in film and TV. That's where I make my bread and butter. And, and if you've been watching me at all, you know, I just give it all away. I give it all away. Um, and so go ahead. So today I want to talk about, you know, I've been, I've had the amazing honor of coaching uh, damn near 80 new students in my Bookmore TV course that's happening right now. We're actually wrapping up. This is our last week together. Um, and those students plus my one-on-one -on -one clients, a lot of the same issues come up, which is what gives me inspiration to come live and talk to you guys. Um, be sure to give me some hearts and some love. Let me know that you're watching, that you're with me. Rep your city in the comments so I know I'm not alone. Y'all don't know how weird it feels to talk to yourself. Do these lives, I just be me and Prince in here and it just feels crazy. So when you even click the like button, it makes me feel like you're there with me. Thank you. Um, so here's the deal. There's a reason why you don't always prep like you know you should. And this has come up with um, this has come up with some some recent clients, and we talk about it often. And and I've talked about this before, but I really wanted to put my finger on it for you guys so you can identify it in your own life and in your own process and to take ownership of it. You okay? You gonna lay down? <laughs> He just, he, Prince just finished playing ball. He just, yeah, there you go. Take it down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's something you have to identify for yourself. So typically I hear this. And so see if you can find yourself in this, right? What's up, Callie? What's up, Vancouver, right? Oh, that audition didn't go great. And I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak to a lot of self tapes. I'm also going to speak to in person. Self tapes specifically. My lighting wasn't right. That's why. See, it's my camera. See, I got this old camera. 
Well, see, my reader wasn't good. See, it was my reader. What other, what other excuses did I write? Uh, my hair wasn't the right wig. We had a whole wig talk in Vancouver, right? It wasn't the right hair. I didn't book it because of my hair. I didn't book it because I'm too dark. I didn't book it because I'm white. I didn't book it because I'm a white male. I didn't book it because I'm... What else? Oh, my editing. I didn't have to. I didn't have the fade to black. I just didn't connect with the script. That's what was wrong with it. That's why. Uh, what else? My coach. See, my coach told me to do it this way, and then see. Uh, that's why I didn't book it. That's why I didn't get that call back. <laughs> Facebook got some all these emojis going. So listen, can we be real? I mean, I really don't know what else to do but be real with y'all. <laughs> Only because. And let me tell y'all this, everything I say to y'all, I hope you all receive it with the love intended. It is because I first, there's a big ass mirror over here. I first look in the mirror here and check me. So I know when I didn't fully prep for something. Now granted, we all grown, all grown, 24 hours in a day. We all got jobs, we all have responsibilities. I'm talking about when we know, when we know what it feels like for us to prep versus what we submitted, right? If we're honest. And so this has been coming up and I, and I got such clarity, not just through my clients, but for myself also. The real reason you don't prep like you know you should 100% of the time is because then you will have to face the fact that you're not as good as you thought you were. If you can't say amen, you just might say ouch. As my uh, old coach, Allison Burr, used to say, if you can't say amen, you just might say ouch. She said, leave, leave a little, says, and drops sticky notes. Seriously. Because then, if I have nothing else to blame it on, it's am I good enough, period? Am I good enough for this industry, period? Which is a hard question to ask yourself because sometimes I think we ask that unfairly. We happen to just not book something and all of a sudden we're second guessing our talent. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't co-sign that. I'm talking about when you know you had ample time or not even ample time. You, I'm all about everything I'm teaching my students right now in my Book More TV course is about creating a rinse and repeat method. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel for every audition. Do you have a process? Do what worked, do what felt good. But if we don't ask the question, okay, I know I didn't prep well. And why is that? Why is that okay? At some point, we have to set the bar for ourselves. We have to live in a state of excellence. Like this is what works for me. Y'all know, starting to clap my hands, right? We have to know, I just know what my level of excellence looks like. And I know if I'm, if I'm dialing it in, and for me, if I'm gonna dial it in, then why even do it? Because the Christine Horan brand standard is here. It's out the frame. You are loud, sir. Just balls out, <laughs> right? So what is your standard of excellence? And how much longer will you accept less from yourself? and blame it on your race, your gender, your lights, your camera, your reader, your coach, your editing, or the script. And here's part two, this, here's, so that's question number one. How much longer will you tolerate that from yourself and then still wonder why the breakthrough hasn't come? Or will you be strong enough, put your big boy, big girl panties on, and be like, get some coaching. Ask a friend, hey, can we work together? I feel like my muscle, I feel like I'm rusty. Get a professional, get an outside opinion. I ain't even talking about me. I'm talking about someone else. <laughs> Valerie said, who, who feels seen? If you feel seen, <laughs> put hashtag seen in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, because I check these comments. You should feel seen. I feel seen. I don't come out here to talk to y'all about nothing I haven't gone through. But there comes a time where I'm like, look, that was half-assed. That wasn't good enough. 
So I'm just ready for anybody in my atmosphere to just be killing it, to really be killing it, where you just know no one else has to validate you, not a casting director, not nobody, but you know, you know, man, I gave my all. I dropped the mic in that room. I dropped the mic on that tape. Like I killed it. I felt good about it. Some of you are submitting tapes. Some of you are leaving auditions just not feeling good about it. And it's not random like, man, I was having a bad day. No, it's happening over and over and over again. And that has to stop. Because you're putting in too much heart, too much time, too much effort into this, but then not fully committing. And look, it's, and I always compare our acting career to relationships because I don't know a better analogy. But it's like dating somebody and not really fully giving them your heart because you've been hurt before. You don't understand. I've been hurt before. I've been dropped from pilots. My pilot got picked up and then we didn't, and then I got recast. I've been so close. All my other friends are working. Hell, my man is working. All my girl is working and I'm not. I'm afraid to give you my all because what if you hurt me again? But God, like the feeling of love is too beautiful and too epic. If you've ever if you have a theater background like I do, the lights, guys, anybody, any of y'all from theater, when them lights come on, there's nothing that feels like there's nothing that replaces it. Those of y'all who haven't been in the theater, when you are on set and you walk in your freaking trailer, man, and your contract is there and they're like, can I get you anything from, from, the, from any breakfast, Miss Horn? Yes, you can. What, what is my, what are my choices? <laughs> Like, that feels amazing. And I'm not going to pretend it doesn't. And if for you to pretend that it doesn't is a lie, because you wouldn't be doing this otherwise. Some part of this. My sister is calling me. Oh, gosh. my Sorry, Instagram. My sister just had a baby, and she's calling me on Duo. She's totally shut down Instagram. Oh, gosh. I'll call her back. Anywho, I think that was a sign that I need to wrap because I want to see my new nephew. Listen, stay encouraged. Know that I love you all. I only speak from the heart. If this is found, if you found this helpful, be sure to pass this on to an actor friend of yours. Let them know to get some actor's daily bread. Eat it like it's some good food. <laughs> All right, I will see you next time. I'm gonna call my sister back. Sorry, Instagram, my sister called, interrupted your, uh, the, the, the feed, I think. But stay encouraged, but take a look in the mirror, everybody, tonight when this live is done, and say, where can I step up? And I want you to be open and receptive to the fact that you just, you just might need some coaching. No one stops getting coaching not even your favorite Oscar Emmy winners. So you're no different. You're no different. Scott Patterson says, that's real talk goes across all disciplines. Absolutely. Hey, Triana. Yes, Cherie Devon, I'm from the theater too. And yes, that feeling of that first entrance, nothing like it. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging with me. Have an amazing night. Listen, if you don't have my book, Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet, get your life. What's going on? It's on Audible too, right? It'll get your mind right. Um, yeah, and this is the kind of book you need to just keep in your audition bag, keep in your set bag. Um, yeah, and other than that, come join us in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. It's a free group, and I want to see you on the inside. Bye, everybody. Princess, bye too. <laughs>